Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamie and today I will be going over an intro to hand lettering. This video specifically is mostly about brush lettering with a few different markers, but I will be using Crayola markers. And I'm writing this right now with a Faber-Castell Big Brush marker, which is my favorite for titles. If you want to see more of my favorite markers, check out my favorite markers video. So I'm starting off with just your normal pack of Crayola markers. And I really love these for lettering, especially when you're practicing, because you don't have to worry about wasting your expensive markers. And these are actually what I started doing my lettering with and practicing. So you're going to start with a really thin upstroke and you're pressing really lightly. You're just kind of resting your marker on the page and doing a stroke up and to the right and just practice it quite a few times. If it helps you to have a line then definitely do that. It and then the next stroke we're going to do is a really heavy down and to the right stroke. You can see they kind of mirror each other, but one of them is very light and one of them is very heavy. And as you can see, my lines are getting a little crooked and that is why it's really, really helpful for you to use lines. But when you're first starting out, especially if this is your first time ever doing any brush lettering, then don't stress at all. It's gonna be fun, I promise, and you're gonna be able to letter all of your journals and fun cards and just do a lot of things with this. So just have fun with it. And I will link a ton of awesome worksheets below, but for right now, we're just gonna go over the basic strokes. So I'm going up and down and alternating heavy and light strokes. This will help you when you are writing, so you get used to the feel of going light when you go up and heavy when you go down. And now I am combining those two and doing kind of a loop. You can see it goes heavy and then light, heavy and then light. This is a really helpful technique to practice because a lot of your letters will have this same look to them, like M's and N's and lots of your letters. So this is really good to get down. If you need to pick up your pen in between the loops or the waves, you can definitely do that. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But just use this time right now to figure out what feels comfortable for you and what works really well because everybody's different and you never know what's going to work for a certain person. So try out tons of different things. And then right now I'm doing an overhand loop. Again, really light when you go up and heavy when you go down. This video is at real time speed and you can see I'm going pretty fast. But that is just because I wanted to get all this information in this video for you because there's so much of it. But feel free to go very slowly. As you can see, this is a little bit messy because I am going so fast. So definitely take your time and put a lot of love into your hand lettering and it'll be beautiful. By the way, I'm just using a regular sketchbook, but you can use any paper that works for you. Some people use graph paper or dotted paper or lined paper works really well. Just figure out what helps you the best. Now I'm doing an underhand loop I guess you could call it and right here I split up and start doing them separately and this is usually how I letter but when you're practicing in the beginning the biggest thing you want to focus on is having your upstroke be really light and your downstroke be really heavy and that'll give you that really beautiful calligraphy look to your lettering. In the future I can go over faux calligraphy. If there's anything in particular you'd like me to do just let me know in the comments below because I'd love to make a video for you. I know there's a ton of YouTube videos out there about hand lettering and brush lettering and calligraphy and all of those things and there are so many amazing ones out there. A lot of the videos go over the technical aspects of how to hold your marker and what angle to have it on the paper and those are just not things that I worry about too much because brush lettering is so fun to me and I just have to figure out what works for me and once I start thinking about the technical parts of it, it becomes a little less fun. So if you do want all of those specifics, feel free to search on YouTube and find those videos. But this one is going to be more of a really relaxed approach to hand lettering and not something that you should stress about at all because it's going to be fun and something that I hope you enjoy. So after we're done with these drills, we're going to move on to capital letters. You can do these in any style that you'd like. You can do classic, cursive, or what I'm doing is more of a modern approach. And if you're having any trouble doing certain letters, just keep working through them. Write them a few more times. You don't have to write the alphabet in its entirety every single time you practice. If you really struggle with one certain letter, just try writing it over and over and try tons of different ways and see what works for you. The worksheets that are linked below have a few different calligraphy styles though. So figure out which way of lettering is your favorite and then just work with that. But don't be discouraged if your lettering isn't perfect right away because that's a lot 
of pressure to put on yourself to expect perfection on your first try. This is all about practicing and getting a feel for your markers and how you're holding them and your thin upstrokes and your thick downstrokes. So just get a feel for the marker in your hand. Remember that these markers are super inexpensive so you can practice as much as you like. Just really work on forming all of the letters and once you get more experienced working with how your markers work and how to just do basic hand lettering, then you can get a little more advanced and do some cooler things. But don't feel like you have to go out and buy expensive markers just to achieve beautiful things in your hand lettering because you can do a lot of cool things just with Crayola markers. The trick is just being patient enough to learn them and to have fun playing around with the tools that you have. So the biggest letter that I always struggle with is the letter Q. I don't usually write it in anything so I don't practice it enough. And then anytime I try to write an alphabet, I completely forget how to do it. So I actually had to go back to the worksheets I had done in the past, which I keep as a reference in a binder, to see how I used to form my cues. And then I kept trying out a few different ways. None of them I was super happy with. I haven't really figured out which cue I like the best, but the same with any other skill. You get better the more you practice. If you're watching this and you have a journal, then try using your Crayola markers to write the days of the week or to do any lettering in there at all. And remember that your bullet journal is a place to learn and grow. So don't feel like you're going to ruin it by testing out some new things or trying out some different lettering because you're not gonna ruin it at all. You're just gonna make it more beautiful. And when you're trying out different styles, maybe you wanna have the bottoms pointy or maybe you want them really big and loopy or Maybe you want the middle of the W to go up super high. Just try all the different styles and you can look on Pinterest or Instagram to see how people do their alphabets to get inspiration or you can just experiment by yourself and see what you like. But if you hate how a certain letter looks, there's always a new way to write it. I know when I started getting into lettering, I was looking around and watching tons of videos and thinking that each one would have the magic tip of how to suddenly be super good at hand lettering or brush lettering and there is no tip or a big trick. The only thing that you need to do is practice and work on it and get better at it and learn as much as you can. So most of this video after this point is just going to be some music and then you can just watch how I do my lettering. So it's going to be a full alphabet and all the numbers and a little bit of practice with the marker. If you want to speed this part up, there is the little settings tab where you can change the speed of the video if you don't want to watch me do this in real time. But other than that, I will see you at the end of the video.
After writing the alphabet a few times, now I'm just going to write the word minimum. And this is a great word to practice your upstrokes and downstrokes and to get a feel for how to connect the letters. I hope that you've enjoyed this video so far and that it has been helpful in your lettering practice. If you were looking for a different kind of video, please let me know what you wanted to see down in the comments below because I would love to make it. I'm not sure what else you'd like me to talk about for videos like this because most of it is just going to be me doing some hand lettering and writing things out. In other videos, I'll probably explain what I'm doing more, but for this one, it's just a lot of practicing and writing your alphabets and doing the drills so you can improve at it. But other than that, I hope you have a great rest of your week and remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching!